which drains directly into inferior vena cava. You know very well that the right suprarenal vein drains into IVC, whereas left it drains into the renal vein and in turn drains into the IVC. What is the embryology of uh, <coughs> the ear canal, external ear canal? It is the first ectodermal cleft from which the external ear canal basically develops, has no small vein in the nasolacrimal duct. What is the persistent amphilomesentric duct anomaly? Umbilical fistula, umbilical sinus, Meckel's diverticulum, etc., etc. They are all the anomalies. Whereas if you look at the median umbilical fold, from very very developed doctor, it is a remnant of uracus, is what you have to ultimately remember. Which muscle has a intercapsular origin? Properly it is and long head duff biceps are the two classical muscles which have intercapsular origin. What is feeder hemoglobin has got to alpha 2 gamma? It has got a very high affinity for oxygen. It can't deliver oxygen. It will only hold the oxygen. Right? Then uh, medial lemniscus system. What does it contain? All of our uh, cutaneous touch, vibration, etc. So, uh, they are the ones which are carried by the dorsal columns. They reach the cuneus and gracile nucleus in the lower medulla. There they undergo decussation and pass as medial lemniscus. Then uh, lateral lemniscus carries auditory pathway you have lateral lemniscus. Superior colliculus is involved in vision. Superior colliculus sustadi inferior colliculus intadi. So inferior colliculus is audition. Medial geniculate body is audition. Lateral geniculate body is vision. Inferior olivary nucleus is located in medulla and it is the one which is a connection between the spinal cord and the cerebellum. It is located in medulla and it helps the information coming from the spinal cord to reach the medulla and from medulla to go through the inferior cerebellar peduncle and reach the medulla. Whereas superior olivary nucleus is associated with audition or uh, vision. Eh? So all this superior inferior lateral medial lemnus sky, menus sky, blah blah blah, you must be very sure. So doctor, what is the concentration of potassium in uh, the child's CSF? 3 milli equivalents per liter. NK cell is called ADCC. So, uh, though uh, NK cell is a special type of cell. What is the speciality? It is a cell made immunity. Any cell is one cell made immunity. Release of antibodies is called antibody mediated uh, this thing. So, though it is a cell made immunity, it acts like a humoral immunity. Both the capabilities are there for the NK cell. So, it is a large granular lymphocyte releases the granzymes and performs the antibiotic action, I mean antiviral and uh, it is also involved in tumor surveillance. So these are all the important functions. What are the things released by the macrophages? Macrophages release IL-6, IL-1, TNF alpha but not IL-2 is what you have to basically remember. In starvation, we want to break all the fixed deposits when we don't have money and we are bankrupt. So we don't go into creating fixed deposits. So glyco is the voice of so in starvation basically what happens is glycogenolysis but not glycogen synthesis. Once more, this is another dirty area. Which glute receptor is which one? So you should be quite sure. GLUT1, GLUT3, GLUT5. They are all the transporters associated with the brain is what need to be remembered. 
insulin mediated glucose uptake is essential in case of adipose but if you take intestine kidney or brain there you don't require the insulin in order to take up the uh, glucose is what you have to emphatically remember in homocystinuria it is a vitamin b12 which is uh, problematic is what you have to basically understand <coughs> is there any resound just uh, please check what salmonellae are h2s forming what salmonellae are not h2s forming salmonellae all salmonellae produce h2s sulf hydrogen sulfide except paratyphi a and the cholera suis is the one which doesn't produce so there is a reason paratyphi a is the oddman uh, out which is not a h2s producer <clears throat> what is the cause some people don't get hiv because for the hiv virus to go and attach to the cd4 it require a co receptor and the co receptor is ccr5 what some people have uh, resistance for the binding of the hiv virus onto that ccr5 co receptor is missing what is wrong about keto tiffin keto tiffin prevents mast cell release used to treat the bronco constrictive states but by itself it is not a bronco dilator is what you have to basically appreciate once more doctor beta blockers classification standard question if you did this wrong how will you did this wrong come on encourage me oh good congratulate if you did this wrong and raise the hand we will give five star chocolate eh huh? so that uh, so but let me tell you beta agonist antagonist classification autonomic nervous system me and beta blockers which are into having intrinsic symptomatic activity which are have membrane stabilizing effect which are lipid soluble which can cross blood brain barrier all this fund of beta blockers which are beta 1 selective beta 2 selective blah 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 you must be right ready which anti fungal act by inhibiting the cell wall caspofungin penicillin equinocandins they all their major mechanism is on the cell wall synthesis is what you need to remember so i am very happy to see 56 online viewers on the last day of the year uh sure that uh, 2016 will be you will be writing in your autobiography that year i joined in post graduation huh and uh, uh it was a great joy doing rounds in the morning and suddenly i woke up one day morning and uh, in the emergency room while doing duty thinking that am i on a night duty as a post graduate in uh, md general medicine or ms general surgery Many times you will wake up and think, "Oh, there is no entrance, no." Ah, I am happy. Only what I need to do is the post duty rounds. So you will get up and then rush to see what happened to that patient that you have put on ventilator at midnight two o'clock. Those days are another hundred days. Huh? Live in the dream, doctor. <clears throat> uh, now, yes, me, doctor. Yes, in the beta is angiotensin converting enzyme in the beta. So, what will it uh, basically lead to? Uh, angiotensin formation. It will inhibit. So, normally it is the uh, low angiotensin that stimulates the renin production, right? So, that is the reason. What is the effect of it on renin? that uh, end product angiotensin is not there so nobody to stop running production so effectively running production become increased when the converting enzyme is basically inhibited so is why i am a i junction formula says release renin that renin will go and uh, stimulate angiotensin formation so if you if the sufficient angiotensin is formed it will come and tell renin no I am farmer. Don't produce. Don't, you don't uh, start producing. 
but that negative feedback is missing if you inhibit the antitensin formation. So that lead to uh, renin production to get increased. And it will cause hyperkalemia, not hypokalemia. And it is contraindicated if there is a bilateral renal artery stenosis and if there is a unilateral renal artery stenosis, it is the drug of choice. That's what you need to appreciate. In quinine, what are the important side effects of quinine? Hypoglycemia, contraction of uterus, syncolism and hypotension, not hypertension. Now which lung cancer you will find these ECG changes? Always ECG changes lung cancer means they are looking for some dyslipidemia. Which dyslipidemia that you know? In lung cancer as a paraneoplastic presentation, hypercalcemia. Forget about it, don't even look at ECG. Still you want to see in ECG, you are having typically Osborne. I mean at the ST segment area, you are having a small bump at the J point. Right? So that is typical feature. Osborne wave is a typical feature of hyper calcemia. What is Osborne wave? At the level of the ST segment, there is a small notch. So is there, no? That notch is uh, fundamentally the Osborne wave is huh? that is seen in hypothermia and also in hypercalcemia. That is the misfortune of them. Huh? There are four or five causes of them. Huh? So that's the point. Hemangio endothelioma of the liver. It is not unifocal. It is highly vascular. It involves both the lobes of the liver and it is common in extrahepatic area. A 44 year old from Mongol is having bone pains. And his serum calcium phosphate, alkaline phosphate is everything normal. And his radiography is showing porotic changes, osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a problem with bone matrix. Bone matrix is produced by osteoblasts. So there is a reason the problem is with osteoblasts is what you need to understand. All anemias will cause high ESR. The only anemia which lead to low ESR is that anemia which lead to hyperviscosity of the blood. That typically happens when the sickle cells are sickling with each other. That hyperviscosity will lead to low ESR. Otherwise all anemias are associated with high ESR. Apoptosis. Don't go to entrance without expecting apoptosis. You will remember the exam hall. Right? So how many of you answered this wrong, doctor? Not bad. 4 to 5. But apoptosis question, top 100 rankers, they will never, never do wrong. Right? So that is one of the important premium cardinal manifestations of a topper. Like Harrison may. Clinical cardiac, uh, cardinal manifestations of a topper. No wrongs in apoptosis. So, the uh, death receptors are basically involved in intrinsic pathway. And uh, uh, is what need to be appreciated, not in uh, extrinsic pathway. Once more, which cash spaces are involved, etc., etc., just you need to review that. This session is too short for that. Now, what is the condition shown? Oh, sorry, I forgot to show the figure of tylosis. Actually, tylosis was there. It is associated with carcinoesophagus. I forgot uh, uh, to add the tylosis image. What is the power of a first class magistrate? He can give imprisonment up to 7 years, not 5 years. And he can fine up to 5,000 rupees. Once more, which magistrate come, what magisterial powers you must be 100% sure, doctor. Now, what is not a source of DNA? RBC doesn't have a nucleus. If there is no nucleus, there is no DNA. Venom is produced mainly by salivation, salivary glands. About snake envenomation, you should not cauterize the wound. That is an important principle. And all the remaining things are true. Simple asphyxiant which is heavier than air. Which one? Argon and carbon dioxide. These two are basically heavier than air is what you have to basically appreciate. 
Now, fetishism is what? It is sex gratification by using the opposite sex objects. Like the chappal and the inner wear etc. So that is basically called fetishism. Then heat hematoma lies between skull and dura basically. Then staff at primary health center does not include pediatrician anesthetist radiologist where will they go and stay in a PHC doctor. MBBS doctor only very difficult to hold him at PHC. Laboratory technician. Right? Laboratory technician. Now temperature related injury. What is the wrong statement? Heat exhaustion if you take is milder than the heat stroke. All the remaining statements are true. Chill pain is a severe form of cold injury, blah blah blah. Heating at 63 degrees for 30 minutes, even if you do that, spores will not die. Then uh, household burning produces what? Sulfur dioxide. What is this? Mosquito. So, yellow fever, chikungunya, everything is by the tiger, mosquito, but not Japanese encephalitis, which is by Culex. So, what is this vector? Last time we had one mite, mite, tick, etc. This is a louse. So, louse typically trench fever. Waste disposal bag. I think on your mobile phone they have given the color properly. In this black and white it was not there. All these images are they are giving on the blog and the address of the blog no? for you to run through. Right? So, basically it is for the yellow bag. It is for the human anatomical waste, category 1. Then category 2, 3 and 6 which is solid waste. They are also basically by the yellow bag. So what type of latrine do you like to call this as? This is fundamentally called borehole latrine. So what is the importance of this borehole latrine? Uh, uh, it fills quickly, it has got a small capacity. Uh, there are all the two statements. It is unsuitable for fly breeding, which is an advantage. But it is not good for public use because it has got a small capacity. Personal use of a person, that's the point. Right, doctor? So, you are first a sanitary inspector, then a medical officer. Right? So, you must be sure that the uh, examiner can give any kind of an imaginative questions. Image measure questions have no syllabus, no rules, no high yield, low yield nature. Whatever he feels like a fancy, he can give it. That's the reason. 50-60 questions ke liye preparation the jarrat hi nahi hai. Why are you preparing for entrance? Anyway, 60 questions are fancy question of examiner. He can give a latrine, he can give a mosquito, he can give an insect, he can give uh, the nape of the neck of his wife and ask, do you know uh, which jewelry this uh, uh, is being done or underlying acanthosis is associated with what any bloody stupid question he can give. So 50-60 questions, aram se, common sense ka istamal karke, answer karna. Exam is only for 140 questions. Oh, 140 mein 120 questions are anyway expected questions. Topics like apotosis, consumer service. 20 questions only is little tricky. So that 120 ko 120 mark na, or 60 mein kam se kam 50 mark na, 170 minimum mark na. Image based question means the top line will increase. When image based questions 50 60 hai to, the whole match fixation occur within 10 marks. I think, do you know that? 170 and 155 closed. Doors are closed. 155 also a very big number. 10 marks ke window mein pura top 200 ranks are. Finished. Here at 120, 115, I am still thinking, Kuch aega mujhe, Mere jindagi mein roshni aega, Bolke agar aap bait jayeto, Unless you are having a very powerful 
uh, uh, like PHC quota or something, that's different story, right? So, but good news is 60, 55, 60, you don't need any preparation, right? आराम से जाके ये लिख के आना उसमें उसके उसमें टेंशन नहीं लेना फ्यू ईसीजी फ्यू एक्सरेस फ्यू हिस्टोपेथोलॉजी क्लासिकल फ्यू इंस्ट्रूमेंट क्लासिकल क्वेश्चन विल बी देर राइट सो दस रीजन डोंट वरी आराम से पढ़ो टू थ्री हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स अपने आप डिसाइड कर लो क्या पढ़ना है एग्जाम में पक्का आने वाला टॉपिक्स केस कंट्रोल ट्रायल कोहा ट्रायल डिफरेंसेस Odds ratio, sensitivity, specificity, predictive value, etc. Formulas, biostatics, may few things, right? So all these things, you make your own list. My wish list of 300 topics. Out of that, 120 will definitely come. 20 questions, Bhagwan ko chodo. You will definitely will be in between 150, 160 score. Don't worry. Then which vaccine cannot be given to pregnant women? Live attenuated measles vaccine cannot be given is a routine question. So what is this thread coming out? It is Draken Kilasis. So Draken Kilasis is eliminated from India. Uh, is uh, the only true statement. It is not chigger transmitted. It is not airborne. Now what are the ECG ch changes which have been shown here? You are finding. A T wave, T wave followed by that a U wave. जो भी positive wave T wave के बाद आता है उसको QRS के बाद ये T wave है doctor this one. After T wave you got one more wave that is not T that is U. Any wave that follows T is called U. Are you getting it? T wave followed by another positive wave which is called U wave. Don't expect U wave to be an inverted wave because you write U like this. यू एम को यू एम क्यों बोला टी के बाद आता है इसलिए यू बोला नॉट बिकॉज इट इज यू शेप्ड ओके सो वॉट इज द कॉमेज ऑफ हाइपोकेमिया इनडायरेक्टली एग्जामर वॉन्ट टू नो सो फ्रू सबाई नेसोगैस्टिक सक्शन वॉमिटिंग एनी एसिडोसिस इज एसोसिएट हाइपर केलीमिया सिंपल थिंग रिनल फेल्यूर पेशेंट दे हैव हाइपर केलीमिया इन यूरिमिक मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोसिस एसिडोसिस इज सिनोनिमस विथ Hyper kalemia is what you need to remember. So, what type of vasculitis are you seeing in the histopathology? It is an example of uh, uh, granulomatous vasculitis. Right? Can the online students can punch? Is the voice clear without any resound, etc., etc.? Then uh, they are comfortable. Very happy to see 63 online students. Now, granulomatous vasculitis. Jensen artery is chokes cross vagina, but not pan. Is called as granulomatous vasculitis. Once more, in your wish list, vasculitis is the topic you are going to have. One question without vasculitis: no APPG, no DNPG, no Maharashtra PG. Once more, in January, our adjacent states are conducting the. their exams maharashtra paper tamil nadu paper kerala paper they all will come before february 28 so those papers we will also conduct like a mock test for you so that uh, take it granted at least 35 40% of questions in those uh, adjacent state mock uh, actual exams uh, will be same as that of our state entrance same means little difference उसमें क्रायो ग्लोबुलेनिमिया पूछे तो यहां भी क्रायो ग्लोबुलेनिमिया आता वहां एवरेडिस बी के बारे में पूछे तो यहां भी आता तो वैसे 35-40 क्वेश्चंस यू विल फाइंड कॉमननेस इफ यू सॉल्व तमिलनाडु केरला महाराष्ट्र वी विल आल्सो गेट ए जम्मू कश्मीर पेपर वी आल्सो हैव ए सेंटर इन श्रीनगर सो फ्रॉम देर वील ऑल्सो गेट ए जम्मू कश्मीर पेपर दिस फोर पेपर्स एंड कॉमेट के डोंट इग्नोर Comed K is a very close paper that uh, is our closest cousin. No, Comed K, right? Two brothers, one industrialist, other worked in government. Government uh, guy's son is uh, studying in AP. 
and that industrialist son is studying in Comet K. So our cousins will anyway tell us uh, how the exam was and that paper also will help us. Okay. So uh, let's go to the next question. <coughs> Uh, pulse pattern. What type of pattern you have? One high pulse, low pulse. High pulse, low pulse is alternance. It is called as pulse is alternance. So, uh, it is typically seen in heart failure. It is never seen in mitral stenosis. Pure mitral stenosis may LV never fails unless MR or AS or AR is associated. Then what are the indications of emergency radiotherapy? Severe hypercalcemia is an indication, not hypocalcemia. So you can remember SANS tumor, supervena cava, acute epidural spinal cord compression or if there is any cardiac tamperate because of neoplasia. For example, lymphomas, they go to the pericardium and lead to significant cardiac tamperate. Or if there is a severe hypercalcemia or tumor lysis syndrome, in any of these scenarios, when a patient comes to you, it is an indication for the emergency you need to organize radiotherapy. People take radiotherapy expecting that there will be no emergencies. God no, entire radiotherapy is a non-emergency, elective branch. But the emergency radiotherapy can be a science is an important indication which you should not forget. Hypothermia may, what is an important feature? It lead to ST segment elevation and bradycardia. It won't affect PR interval. That is an important feature. Hand shallow fistulum may you have a diabetes insipidus exophthalmos with punctured lytic lesion. A child has a fever after taking a moxicillin, he developed a macular papular rash means he has got infectious mononucleosis caused by Epstein Barr virus, which also lead to development of nasopharyngeal carcinoma and Burkitt's lymphoma is what you have to basically remember. In obstructive jaundice, what do you have? You are having an increased direct bilirubin and also alkaline phosphodiesterase is basically increased. Explain to the spinobulbar muscular atrophy he is fundamentally a classical example of a condition due to trinucleotide repeats. Huntington's chorea is also a uh, trinucleotide. Unnecessarily they get repeated every time replication is happening and that leads to development of clinical conditions. One such is Huntington's chorea. One more is spinobulbar Muscular atrophy. Adjacent triad may you don't have frisking of angle of mouth, but adjacent teeth, interstitial keratitis, and deafness, they are all the three. So, how do you treat malaria? For cerebral malaria, quinine is the one which you will use. Falciparin is not most common worldwide. What is most common worldwide, Dr. Plasmodium vivax? Is, uh, uh, omnipresent everywhere you go to Africa, Kenya or anywhere still Vivax is very much there. Now in the CPR, once more Dr. CPR, advanced life support and the basic life support, VT, V of clinical management. If hemodynamically uh, stable, unstable, how do you manage, how many zones you will give, this is one area of emergency medicine, definitely one question come. CPR, CPR when new changes have come. Once more, the chest compression ratio will be different between pediatric and adults. All these things you must be quite sure. So earlier days, they used to say airway, breathing, circulation. But now the rule is circulation, airway and then breathing. Okay, so it has been changed from ABC into CAB is what you have to remember and uh, remaining things are all uh, known facts. Hesek may H is hemophilus and uh, King LA, E canola carodens and uh, C is not clostridium. Then what is the definition of ARDS? PO2 by PF, FIO2 less than 200 is ARDS. Much more acute lung injury versus ARDS. What is the difference in the definitions is a favorite question. And typically, how will the pulmonary capillary vegetation? Less than 18. Because it is a non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. If you acute MI or left ventricle failure, then there is called cardiogenic pulmonary edema. Left ventricle, if it fails, the pressure in left ventricle increase. That will in turn lead to increase in left atrial pressure. That will lead to 
increase in pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. So a high pulmonary capillary wedge pressure suggests cardiogenic pulmonary edema and uh, less than 18 for this non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. You understood the formula? How many didn't? Still little confusing sir. Aap kuch bol rahe. PCW people rahe idhar odhar. Bol rahe kya? What is the simple doctor? Give me the board. <coughs> You may, you may all be in a very good party mode uh, on the year end. So that's the reason I am trying to be a little more brief. Huh? So, yeah. LA, LV. And what enters into LA? Pandri wheel. What enters into Pandri wheel? Capillaries. So if you reach the pulmonary capillaries, the pressure in the pulmonary capillaries reflects pulmonary venous pressure, which ultimately reflects lactator pressure. So, how will you reach pulmonary capillary area? You will pass a catheter through the SVC jugular vein into right atrium to right ventricle and you will enter into pulmonary artery and through pulmonary artery, the catheter will reach pulmonary capillaries. And this is the point where you record the pressure which reflects the lactator pressure. If it is more than 18 kamatlar, LV has failed, then only it will be more than 18. ARDS by principle is what? Non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema. So that is the reason the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure should be less than 18. But if it is a cardiogenic pulmonary edema, it will be more than 18. So that is the fundamental difference is what need to be remembered. What was given? PCWP is uh, 18. I mean, less than 18 or 18 is uh, 18, no? Huh. So, that's the point. Yeah, very good. Suresh is saying cytochrome C is involved in apoptosis. No. I think that question true and false may thoda repair karna hai apoptosis. Question, eh? options may thoda gar bad hai. That one question, sorry for that, that uh, definitely required. Hmm? Now, what is the contraindication for thrombolytic therapy? So, in an MI patient, if already thrombolytic therapy was done in the last 48 hours, we should not. Uh, for that matter, remaining things are also contraindications, right? I think this question also is little uh, uh, unreasonably framed. So one more, one more question. Now third heart sound is a diastolic sound. Third and fourth are diastolic sound. They are heard after S2. Okay, but fourth heart sound is heard if left ventricular hypertrophy is there. Third heart sound is heard if there is a left ventricular failure. It is a low pitch sound with a high amplitude. Right? Because it is a higher amplitude, you do not need a stethoscope for S3, S4. You can also palpate it because of the high amplitude of it. Then it is never found in mitral stenosis because mitral stenosis may LV never fails, pure mitral stenosis. So these are the important points uh, uh, you need to remember. So what is the tumor in mediastinum? Andrew mediastinum. Neurogenic is partial mediastinum. All the remaining are anterior. What are the four T's that you find in anterior mediastinum? T for thymoma, T for teratoma, T for terrible lymphoma, T for retrosternal thyroid. You have to remember. Then what are the most common side of carcinoid? Earlier it used to be appendix but now it is small intestine, the most common location. In neuroperitoneum, you find cupola sign, regular sign, football sign, not the pipe stem appearance. Once more, what is regular cupola? Everything we discussed in our regular radiology class, which is available on anatomy to medicine.com video library. You can review that. Empecio neuroblastoma. So, typically, we show two peaks 
one in 20 and other is in 50. It is found in nose. Yes, what need to be remembered? Regarding Crohn's disease, uh, it occurs in about 30% of people extra intestinal manifestations. Ankylosing spondylitis can occur, uveitis can occur, they are all the known features. Burger, typically upper limbs may involve migratory thrombophlebitis can be there and smoking cessation is the best way that you can be able to avoid or decrease the thrombangitis of deterrence is what need to be remembered. Clipper Trenovini syndrome. In this, you have hemangiomas, AV malformations, varicose veins, etc. etc. It is not just the superficial but even the deep venous system also is involved in this anomaly. Huh? C is the C is not part of triple trinoid. Uh, we will just re review that about uh, answer D. Now, what is wrong about hemorrhoids? Internal tiles are painless. Hemorrhoidectomy is the treatment of choice, and bleeding appears like a fresh splash on a pan because of being a lower GI bleeding occurring uh, uh, by the breakage of the uh, venous. Venous bleeding fundamentally. Then uh, anorectal abscess. It is the intersphincteric plane where the infection originates, and uh, uh, the remaining statements do not uh, qualify. What is an indication for symptomatomy? It includes rest pain, hyperhidrosis, and rhinos, but not. Intermittent pain is not uh, due to the claudication which you get whenever you are having any vascular insufficiency. There you don't use, uh, sympathectomy is not that useful. About diathermy, bipolar is useful where lateral thermal injury needs to be avoided. True. But uh, bipolar electrocautery is more effective than the monopolar instrument if you want to coagulate the vessels is a true statement. What is not an age defining illness? CMA retinitis is not. Herpes joster, candidiasis, oropharyngeal, cryptococcal meningitis, they all have been included under the list of the age defining illnesses. You want to compare two, po two proportions. 30 out of 100 said yes, 50 out of 100 said no. Yes, in the other group. You want to compare this 30 versus 50. So then we will use chi square and uh, Fischer's exact test also is basically for the purpose of comparing the proportions. Then what is the true statement out of all this? True statement. Uh, predictive value of the test, it does not depend on the prevalence of the disease is a wrong statement. It very much depends. The likelihood ratio is sensitivity divided by 1 minus specificity is the formula of likelihood ratio, positive likelihood ratio. What is the mean and median and mode, how to calculate, you all know. Most repeating value is basically mode. And you will add all of them and divided by number of values is mean. You will arrange them in the ascending order and then the central two values or central value you will take to calculate the median. Then about the leprosy, multimacillary means persons have six or more lesions, regular MDT, patient should receive two, uh, uh, need to receive uh, on a particular schedule. The leprous reaction if not treated can lead to permanent disability, so type 1, type 2 lepra reactions you must be quite sure about. Then exudative retinal detachment and uh, tractional retinal detachment, uh, what are the underlying causes you need to know? Uh, there is a list of causes for exudative, tractional, etc, etc. You need to review that. So what you see here, flight 10 is what you are seeing. So flight 10 conjunctivitis is basically a type 4 cellular-related hypersensitivity reaction. Our guy Robertson pupil 
is typically seen in tertiary syphilis. It is also called prostitute's pupil. It accommodates but doesn't react. And anisocoria, light reflex is absent but near reflex is present. It accommodates but does not react to the light. So what do you see? Keratoconus, Munson sign. So keratoconus is a feature which you see in, in case of Marfan eyelid allos and downs but not in Usher's syndrome. Then what is this condition where smoke stacked like rice is the central serous retinopathy? So central serous retinopathy, you don't need treatment. Patient will have one small blind dark spot visible, but most of the times it is self-limiting in nature. You will do fluorescent angiography to discover it. Rarely you need to do the uh, laser therapy to fix the retina, but generally you won't. Then which intervention? Um, is best if you operate a bilateral acoustic neuroma if you happen to operate which one is a better option uh, uh, for hearing rehabilitation brainstem hearing implant is the best option then uh, supraglottic cancer array epiglottic fold is included in the area which is above the vocal cords which is called as supraglottic area. So, involvement of malignancy over there. Then, Tottenham's triangle, you must know the boundaries, which doesn't include sigmoid sinus inferiorly, but it is posteriorly located. Then, uh, what are you seeing here? Perforation of the palate is visible. So, palatal perforation is a feature which you see in tertiary syphilis, cocaine abuse, because cocaine will lead to severe vasoconstriction and can lead to Perforation of the palate. Huh? What is that? Sorry? But the teeth are normal. Eh? I, was, I was not thinking of teeth. I was thinking of uh, palate. Actually, it is a case of tertiary syphilis with a palatal perforation. So, uh, but... Uh, Idea is, could you recognize the palatal perforation and answer it as cocaine? So, what are emergency contraceptives? Combined recipe, estrogen, levonorgestrel, but not disogestrel. Androgen incestuous syndrome may, axillary and pubic hair is absent because testosterone cannot act on receptor. Hypothyroidism in pregnancy um, causes what? Huh? Answer is missing. Huh? They are very difficult to decide. What was the answer given? Okay. Not bad. Huh? It can lead to preterm, I mean prematurity, not post maturity. That's the point. Then uncontrolled diabetes during pregnancy. What does it lead to? Uh, neural tube defects, fetal anomalies, and uh, still birth but not abrupt show. It is not responsible for the accidental uh, placental separation. It does not lead to. Mirena is progesterone containing IUCD. And uh, complete mole. How will you recognize it? Molar pregnancy uterine size larger than period of amenorrhea is a way to recognize a complete mole. Then once more differences between partial complete mole in the karyotype etc etc you must be very sure about. Regarding ectopic pregnancy, beta HCG is supposed to double every 48 hours. If it doesn't double, there is an indication of a possible ectopic pregnancy. We use methotrexate to treat ectopic pregnancy is a true statement. So, clue cells, KOH giving that amine smell, pH less than 4 point, less or more. Uh, so, uh, C is the R. Accept about it.